make sure you get closer to the scalp. I want to be right off the scalp. I think that reducing the amount of hours that are required to get a license in the state of Texas is foolishness. I believe that we need a lot more than that so that we can continue to give them the training that they need so that they can be productive in this industry. I think we are definitely at a good point when it comes to 1,500 hours and changing that would just put a lot of uh, concern, I think, as when you think about for the, the overall consumer and just overall safety. So speaking to the individual going into a salon, um, it's really important to know that your stylist has been properly trained because they are touching you. It literally could be damaging. I believe that we would have definitely a, a flood of people that would be in the industry um, without all of the knowledge that they need in order to keep the client safe. So we could potentially uh, be dangerous be dangerous if um, they are not following the safety and sanitation guidelines, which if you're cutting the program by a third, you're cutting a third of that away as well. If they reduce hours, um, would they take it away from sanitation? Would they take it away from color formulating or hair cutting and hair styling? What is more important, I think, where we are it's, it's basically covering all of that and then some. It's very important that we keep the 1500 hours. The curriculums are at this point are set up so that the students can make the most out of their time here and by taking the third of that away then I don't believe that the students will have everything they need to compete in the industry. If I was going into a salon with a, with a graduate being you know less than 1500 hours how would I compare to other stylists in the industry? Um, would I be anywhere equivalent? Would my starting pay be less? That's a huge concern as, um, as far as employment and employability.